So now the next thing we need to do is get all of our elevations lined up around the model um, so that they're oriented uh, relative to what's going on in plan. Notice that everything that we've got again is all in one component. So in order to go in and edit any of that information, first thing we need to do is right click on the drawing and select the option there for edit component. Now the easiest thing to do at this point is to just take the select tool and select each of the individual elevations, right click on them and select the option there for make group. So I'm essentially making a bunch of subgroups inside of the CAD component. Again, right click and make group. And then over here for the other elevation also, I wanna right click and make group. Same thing for the floor plan. Big old selection box around the floor plan, right click and make group. So now I've got all of these different um, objects contained in subgroups within the main drawing collection. And that allows me to just be able to quickly move stuff around. I can move the south elevation over towards the south. I also see the red tick marks here hovered over each piece of the drawing, which allowed me to easily rotate that around 90 degrees. Uh, this part of the model, I happen to know, is at a 45 degree angle relative to the other plan, so I can rotate that around. And then I'm just gonna use the move tool to move the parts out a bit and get them aligned. Now, when it comes to aligning the parts of your SketchUp model, you wanna use inference locking for that. You can use the arrows on your keyboard. So here I'm just gonna grab the south elevation by the wall over on the left, start moving it. And since I need to move it along the green axis direction, I can tap on the left arrow key to lock the green axis inference then just move the cursor all the way over and click on the corner of the building. So I've just aligned wall to wall um, elevation and plan. Now the other elevation, the one that's kind of this uh, janky one that's off at a 45 degree angle, that one's a little trickier because we can't just move that along the red or green axes. There, the first thing that we're gonna need to do is take the axes tool and align the axes to that particular part of the building. In order to do that, grab the axes tool, and then you'll need to click three times. Click once to set the origin down on the corner of the building that's at the angle there, and then click a second time to determine the red axis, then click a third time to set the green axis. So again, if I just undo back real quick, it's the axes tool, and then three clicks. Origin, red axis, green axis. Once the axis is aligned to that particular part of the building, now we can use the move tool and inference locking, again, I'm going along the green axis, that's the left arrow key, and I can just come over and click to align that part of the building to that part of the plan. In order to get the axes back to where they were, I've got a right click option where if you right click on the axes off, um, off in space, you'll see the option there for reset. So switching the axes around is pretty straightforward, uh, three clicks to set it in a new position, and then right click on the axes to reset it back to the original point. From here, I can take the Rotate tool in SketchUp. Now, if you've used the Rotate tool before, um, you know that it can be a little bit tricky. The Rotate tool requires you to click three times. And typically, if you just click and let go to start rotating an object, then you'll end up rotating that object about the point where you clicked. It'll just sort of be the center of rotation for the tool. Another way to use the Rotate tool is to click and drag with the Rotate tool first. And in order to do that, I'm gonna zoom in toward the finished floor line, the bottom edge of the building in the elevation, and then click and drag with the rotate tool. That establishes the bottom edge as the axis of rotation. Now I can click once to start rotating the drawing up, and then just type in 90 on my keyboard and hit enter to rotate that elevation up 90 degrees based on the finished floor height. Do that a couple of more times. I wanna take the select tool first, of course. With the rotate tool, it's always more helpful if you select an object or pre-select an object first. Then again, take the rotate tool and click drag to set the axis of rotation along the bottom edge of the building. Then click, click, and if you just wanna be sure, you can type in 90 and hit enter to rotate that up 90 degrees. One last time over here at the end, start with the select tool, select the elevation, then take the rotate tool, click, drag, click, click. Type in 90 and hit enter. Now we've got all of our elevations in the model 
aligned to the building and also tilted up so that we can reference them when we're modeling our building.